Hey everyone, how's it going? Notion Maestro here back with another video. In this video, I will be teaching you how you can track and manage all your finances effortlessly using Notion. So watch this video till the very end. As you can see, I am inside the ultimate finance tracker template, which I have been working on. If you want to purchase this template and get started using uh, this finance tracker to manage all your finances, you can find the link to purchase this template in the description of this YouTube video. Without any further ado, let's talk about the template itself. After you purchase the template, you should see a home page like this if you go and click the ultimate finance tracker template you will be redirected to the template itself uh, as you can see firstly we have the automation section from here you can add new income new expense new subscription and new debt uh, using the notion buttons and all these uh, entries will be added to the relevant databases themselves next we have the navigation section so firstly we have the account section if i go ahead and click on it i will be redirected to the accounts page where you can add and manage all of your accounts along with their balances now if i go ahead and click on the paypal then you should be able to see all the incomes and expenses that i have that have been coming in and going out of your paypal account so here you have expenses incomes along with their sums and expenses along with their amounts and sums you can also find other details like date and summaries from here now if i go back to the home page then the next section we have is the incomes section from here you can track and manage all of your incomes uh, in the income section we have the to do today section today tab where you can manage and track all the ex incomes that you have made for today along with other details like accounts used summary category and the amount themselves along with their sums in the last seven day section you can track and manage all your say last seven days income in this month tab you can track and manage all your incomes in the current month and similarly for this year tab you can track and manage all your incomes for the current year then you have the all incomes section where you can track and manage all of your incomes irrespective of their dates now if i go back to the home page and go inside the expenses section then i should be able to see similar uh, to what i mentioned in income section in the expenses section as well here you can track and manage all your expenses for today last seven days the current month and this year along with their respective details and below we have the all expenses section where you can track and manage all of your expenses irrespective of their dates if i go back to the home page again and click on subscriptions from here you can track and manage all of your subscriptions both active and inactive so as you can see we have the subscription amount the billing type which can be monthly or yearly the start date the next payment date if the subscription is active and the total amount you have spent till now so if the billing type is monthly then this amount corresponds to the monthly subscription payment and if it is yearly then this value corresponds to the yearly payment value if i go to the inactive section then i should be able to see all those details along with the stop date if this subscription has been inactive and then i have the all subscriptions section where you can track and manage all the subscriptions irrespective of their status whether it is active or inactive then if I go back to the home page again and click on debts, then you should be able to track and manage all of your debts, both pending and completed from here. Along with the total debt, the debt paid, the debt remaining, the payment deadline, the progress that has been completed, the date borrowed, and a brief summary about the debts. And all debts, where you can track and manage all of your debts, irrespective of whether they have been completed or they are still pending. Then we have the categories section where you can track and manage all of your income and expense related categories as you can see inside the income categories we have these four and inside the expense categories we have all of these and all the categories section where you can track and manage all of your categories whether they are income or expense next we have the financial goals section from here you can manage all the financial goals that you have set out uh, with, whether they are in progress or they have been completed along with the target amount the saved amount and the progress also a brief summary about them next we have the all financial goals section here you can track and manage all your financial goals irrespective of whether they are in progress or have been completed already then we have the financial overview section from here you can manage your incomes overview based on monthly or yearly as you can see if i click on the monthly tab then i should be able to see incomes that have been uh, generated per month basis so on june 2023 these are the incomes may 2023 this and so on if i click on the yearly tab then i should be able to see all the incomes per year basis i should be able to see all these incomes for 2023 and similarly for 2022 if i go down then i should be able to see a similar section for expenses the expenses overview 
based on monthly or yearly. Now if I go back to home page again, then I should be able to see the accounts section over here, which is similar to what I showed you over here. The incomes overview, the expenses overview, the incomes for today and the last seven days, the expenses for today and the last seven days, the categories for income and expenses, and the subscriptions, both active and inactive at the home page itself to get a quick overlook of uh, all these uh, sections right from the home page. You can also go to the corresponding section from the navigation to get a detailed view of that particular section. So this is about the Notion Ultimate Finance Tracker, the simplest way to track and manage all your finances using Notion effortlessly. If you like this template and want to purchase it, you can click the link in the description of this YouTube video and purchase it from Gumroad. And also if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel since I will be posting more such Notion tips, templates and tutorial videos on this channel so subscribe to our channel and stay tuned and i will be seeing you in the next one